Hi, my name is Gwen. Years ago, my best friend sat me down in front of a computer and he logged me into his Unix account and he proceeded to teach me Unix. Really, he taught me two commands. And with those two commands, I delved in and started my journey. The first command he taught me was W. So W tells you what's going on on the computer at this moment. So this computer has been up for five days. If I reboot it, that'll change to however many minutes. There are eight users logged in right now. The load average on the machine is 3.28. That's a one minute interval, a five minute interval, and a 15 minute interval. Load average is how busy the computer is. So if a CPU, or if a computer has one CPU and there are three processes waiting on it on average, then your load average is going to be three. If there are two cores on the system and you have on average six processes waiting to be run, then the load average would still be around three because six divided by two is around three. Obviously, it has decimal places because it's not always measured in distinct, tight, neat, easily divisible units. So that is the, what that first column of W is about. Over here under user, we have the name of who's logged in, their account name. So over here, we have a bunch of Gwen's logged in, that's me, and one Leon. A TTY, that's the type of terminal that the person is logged in. The console is the actual physical, my MacBook that I'm logged into, and each one of these are windows into that MacBook. So if I look over here on this screen and I type TTY, it tells me that this one is here. This is the one. If I go over here and type TTY, it tells me that this is four. So more on these. From currently doesn't have anything listed under it. If my husband, say, was logged on his computer and he SSH'd into my computer, it would say from Leon's computer here. This is when the user was last doing something, if they, or when they logged in, sorry, and this is when they last did something. What is the interesting part here, what they are doing? Like TTY over here, this command, you can also go who am I just to find out who you're logged in as. So I can come over here and throw this process in the background with control Z and say who am I and TTY. Do that over here, throw this into the background with control Z and say who am I. So, back to what people are doing. So, SSH is a secure shell into another machine. This particular command is saying, log into Silver Tech Sages and use the login username of Silver Tech Sages. This is the W command that we see right here. Some of these other little terminals are sleeping or just sitting there idly. One of these is looking at a file. So let's find out what more is. Man more. Man again is the second command I learned. Man more is the opposite of less. Initially more came out and it was basically just a paginator. So you can hit the space bar and go to the next thing. And then people said it wasn't feature full enough. So they created less. And then there was this joke that less is more than more. And eventually more caught up, and they're both basically about the same these days. But with this command, I can use little b to go back up a page in there. I can use q to get out of it. Let's look at another one here. Sleep. Man, sleep. So sleep is suspending execution. That might be good if you are running a little script where you want to go and check to see if a file exists. So you would do an ls and look for the file, and you might want to wait two minutes in between each time. 
if you're doing a script, it's not going to just be an LS, but more things. But anyways, if you look in the sleep command and you scroll down a little bit, there is this find header called see also. And it lists other commands that you can delve into. So here there's nano sleep. Let's find out what that does. If we can type. And that's the same thing, but instead of seconds, we're doing nanoseconds. And then it also mentions here. So notice here, SIG suspend. If I look into that, I'm starting to get into the more interesting things. So this is you're not going to really use until you're programming. And that delves you into more of Unix internals and stuff. So again, you can check out which terminal you're in with typing the TTY command or the who am I command will tell you which user you're in. These are the load averages, and this is who is logged into your machine. Again, just going through and seeing what people do, if you're on a busy machine that's busier than just you, you can go through and learn new commands and start to learn Unix that way.